This camper here is a uh, 2010 Keystone Hornet. It has uh, two slide outs. I'll walk around the outside and show it there. The outside's in good condition. Like I said, it has two slides. This camper sleeps a whole bunch of people, and it's a very nice layout. Like I said, we'll just pan around the outside. You get a good look at it. No water damage. All the decals are in good shape. Keystone has been in business for many, many years. And this is a very unique layout. It does have two entrances. Uh, one goes right into the uh, bathroom and the other one goes into the main living area. It has a nice big power awning on the front. And like I said, all the decals, everything is in good shape. And it does have an outdoor kitchen. I'm gonna open this up and show it to you, but before I do, the only negative I could really say about this camper is that somebody went around this outdoor kitchen with uh, caulking, and they caulked it up. I don't know why, but they did a kind of a sloppy job with the caulking. We couldn't find any water damage or anything like that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the outdoor kitchen. There's no water damage inside. Doesn't look like it ever leaked or anything, but somebody just did a sloppy caulk job. Anyway, in this kitchen you have uh, TV hookups right here. You have some cabinets, you have a little mini, mini fridge. Now this is one possibility. This, this fridge has a freezer in it, and when you turn it on it gets all frosted. It gets frosted up real bad. And uh, when you turn it off, that water will run out of there and it'll just, you know, run into this compartment. Anyway, see it has a little stove top that flips out. It's very clean, very nice. <clears throat> so this is the outdoor kitchen on the uh, 2010. And again, it's a 32 BHBS. And I'm going to go ahead and take you on the inside. As we go inside, the uh, Keystone Hornet 32 BHBS, and you walk in and you have linoleum, very minimal carpet in this camper. I'll pan around and show it to you. There's your super slide right there, and it has a U-shaped dinette, double basin sink, stove microwave fully equipped fully self-contained nice high ceilings in here and I'm going to turn around and here's your hot water heater switches uh, this is for the electric awning your tank levels and stuff anyway so right here you have a door and that door slides over and here you have a bunk room uh, so you have a bunk bed up top you have a bigger bunk bed on this side. You have a little entertainment stand down here. And then you have this fold out bed. That makes a queen size bed. That'll fold out and cover the whole floor. Like I said, it's clean in here. No water damage, nothing like that. It's very nice. Good high ceilings. So you could sleep. Uh, four people in here and then of course you have the uh, sofa bed that folds out makes a uh, full-size bed and then you have this uh, booth dinette that goes down and makes a queen-size bed and then of course there's a bedroom in the back I'm going to show it to you you go in here first here's the restroom and the other door You have a nice sized bathroom in here. You have a tub and a shower. Good ceiling height in this Keystone. I'm really impressed with the uh, amount of ceiling height that they give you. Some of these travel trailers, they they don't give you enough uh, enough height. And I'm a taller guy. I'm six foot three, and uh, that's definitely a nice feature. 
Anyway, you walk back into this bedroom and there's another wood door that slides across. And you can see you have a, a nice big rear bedroom for mom and dad. Right back here. Plenty of room to get around this bed, as you can see. This is a great layout. You see there's a lot of space. There's space to get next to the bed. Even when you walk back here, there's enough space to walk up this side of the bed also. This is half ton towable. And uh, I believe it's 33 feet overall. Uh, when I put it up on the website, I'll have the weight and the length listed. Anyway, my name is George, and if you'd like to come take a look at this 2010 Keystone Hornet, just give me a call. I'd be more than happy to show it to you. Thank you for watching my video, and have a great day.